What's up, everyone? I hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day. And if not, I do hope and pray that it gets better. I would like to say thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out today's video. It means a lot to me, and I, I really do appreciate it. I promise you I do. Now, if you're enjoying the type of content that you're seeing here, and you wouldn't mind continuing to help support not only me, but the channel as well, make sure to smack that like and subscribe button, and make sure to hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on all of my future content. Now, today, we're going to be talking about the current promotion train for Midnight Suns and if it's doing well. So going back to the initial announcement, one thing the developers wanted to ensure was that the lines of communication were open. If we ask, they will listen, and they were definitely being vocal about their process of how they were going about things. One of the biggest issues, well, I'm going to say issues. One of the biggest things early on was microtransactions. 2K is a company that's known for its microtransactions, especially on its sports titles. People were worried when we found out that they would be here, and the developers cleared up those worries almost instantly. There will be no microtransactions that affect gameplay. The only microtransactions here are cosmetic, so this will not be a pay to win situation. Thank God. Now, the game was delayed back in November of 2021 to the second half of 2022. And then we got hit with another delay, pushing us back to December 2nd. I cried both times. I'm okay. With the current status being next gen copies will arrive on the date of December 2nd. And last gen will be here by the end of March, which is the fiscal year, their fiscal year ending. Now, they were definitely pretty quiet during the time frame of November 2021 until June. Like, dead quiet absolutely quiet like not a single peep but then summer games just got here and we got a fat information dump the introduction of spider-man scarlet witch venom and hulk as characters in the game alongside details surrounding the new release date and more right even giving out free in-game skins to people that interacted with them on their twitter in terms of creators they've been collabing with them on multiple fronts not just in terms of bringing people out to play early builds of the game in order to show off to the public but also working with various cosplayers recreating suits from the game and even working on different youtube videos as a series going over things like hero history and hero showcases where their play styles are broken down and you learn about the character's backstory and who they are essentially in the world of marvel comics it's been drop after drop after drop after drop ever since they started originally back in june and while they did slow down around august due to the second delay which pushed it to december the promotion train never really stopped they just eased up on the gas a little bit at the end of october we even have a series of prequel shorts five to be exact that will tell the story of how lilith became the mother of demons and how superheroes blade magic ghost rider and nico Minoru came together to form the core of the midnight suns and in terms of gameplay there's going to be multiple streams leading to release showing off various features of gameplay so the only possible way to be going in blind about this game would be if you're actively avoiding it or if you just don't care right based off everything actually no before i say that there's one more piece of information that i wanted to throw in here deadpool deadpool at the time this video is being recorded deadpool has taken over all of their social media and has started a hashtag called Deadpool Sons to voice his opinion. Basically, he wants us to vote. He wants us to make our voices heard and tell Fire Axes that he should be in the game. He's taking over their social medias. God, that was a genius marketing move. That was a very genius marketing move. So far, everybody has loved it. It's just, oh man based off everything i've seen over the past few months i would say promotion for them is decent very decent they're vocal with fans they're open about their game and they aren't hiding anything behind edited reviews they're willing to work with creators for their game and are trying to show as much love as possible they're trying to be creative in terms of in the, in the terms of the type of content that they're putting out there before release in order to attract more eyes to the game instead of just you know sitting back and trying to bank off the popularity of the attached name to their product which is marvel this is a studio that's been that's being very proactive with their product because there have been numerous games in the past few years 
that have released with little to no promotion or very bad or misleading promotions like cyberpunk for example the game is catered towards a certain niche of gamers so being being as transparent as possible can definitely help with perception going forward if i had to rate it if i had to rate the promotion it would be a solid eight out of ten for me right with the minus two being the two delays because i want to play the game already like i need it but I feel like 8 out of 10 is also fair, right? I feel like that's a fair score. So let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? Do you think their promotion is decent? Do you think it's bad? If it's bad, please tell me why, because I'm curious as to, in your mind, what can they do to improve or make it better? And do not say anything about removing the card aspect from this game. Just, just don't, because I know some of y'all gonna try it. But if you've enjoyed the video, I hope you did. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you'll never miss out on any of my future content and i will catch y'all in the moonlight peace